Welcome back, my wizards. It's Lendon from VisionaryFire.com. Today, we're going to learn how to rotoscope at god speed using a special script that you can download from the resources section on my website. Hold on, my client's calling me. Lendon, we need that rotoscope in one hour. If it's not done, you're fired. <sighs> one hour, please. Ah, <sighs> client. Fire. All right, so this footage is from a client project landed last year running the remote compositing studio. If you want to learn how to land client projects like this, check out the free career training on my website. I'm working on footage of Will Smith. I can already see dislikes and hate comments, but leave my YouTube channel's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. <laughs> I can, oh, okay. So let's roto out her arm here. So we're going to import the script that you downloaded from the website. So import file. So you're just gonna open up that composition in there and just copy paste all of these items into your comp. All right, so it's already set up. You're just gonna move these null objects. I'm gonna move this one to her wrist, move this one to her elbow, right where the joint is. Key thing is I wanna stay consistent of where I think the wrist is and where I think the elbow is and shoulder. So I can select all three of these null objects, hit P for position, add a position keyframe. You're gonna see it's so easy for us to animate these null objects. It's way easier than trying to animate all those points on your roto and trying to rotate and scale. Look how easy it is for us just to easily reposition these null objects. And one technique I really found to speed up roto is do shift page down and it skips 10 frames. If you just do page down, it goes one frame or page up, it goes one frame back. It's a universal thing in After Effects. If you hold shift, it does 10 times more. For instance, when you're not like changing a value here, if you hold shift, it's gonna change 10 times faster. Hey, you learn something new every day. And you guys are like, I already knew that dumbass. Shift page down. Once we have all those, we can go between those keyframes and make it more precise. Now I recommend not having too many keyframes, otherwise it's gonna jump around and jitter too much. But if you scrub through and see that it's kind of clearly off, then you can reposition it. And I kind of like to kind of look at one null object at a time and make sure it looks good rather than trying to do all three at once. So you can see we have this rig easily animated to her position. And the key thing here, it's so much easier to just move these null objects around than having to reposition every dot on the roto. But then to do the actual roto, you wanna find these two layers right here, click M for mask and delete these masks so you can create your own mask. So I like to actually turn off these layers and just draw the mask like this. Now another ninja speed trick is I'm using this Roto Bezier up here. And this means there's no tangents because adjusting those mask tangents really slows things down. Because for example, you know, the arm rotates, then we move this one here, this one here, and now you can see these tangents are all screwed up and you had to rotate these tangents and they're too long and too short. Those tangents are really annoying. So you can really speed things up to use this Roto Bezier. A lot of people have been using After Effects all these years, didn't know that feature existed up there. I'm sure that'll save you a lot of time. So click M, add a keyframe, and we just wanna go through and perfect this mask, but it's gonna be super easy. We have to adjust these points so fast. And if you want the edge to be hard, you can move that point closer. You can see the closer we get, the more hard that pointy that edge is. The more we move away, the more round it is. Of course, you can always go through here and add more points but I would not recommend subtracting points. A better example might be this footage here because the arm is just shaking around so much. And so that's where this script will really make our job a lot easier when we can use this script to first animate those joints. By the way, don't you just love how it looks when this guy hits the ground? It's like, look at his butt. It's like, er. Okay. Keep my footage out your f***ing tutorial. I'm going to, okay? Another roto tip is just don't do too many points because the more points you have, the more points you're gonna have to adjust on every single keyframe. It can really slow you down. Also in my nuke course, we remove these strings here. We cover all the essential skills you need to become a nuke compositor at a VFX studio, open up a lot more career opportunities learning these nuke skills. And one of the best things, you get all kind of professional footage which makes your demo reel way more professional. But I wanna share with you another tip for Roto for getting the edges perfect. So you can see some imperfections right here. Check this out. So if we pre-compose all of our Roto layers, and then we duplicate our footage, put it just below the roto layer, and do track mat as alpha mat. Now when we, when we solo this layer, footage is gonna be where that roto layer exists. So if we pre-compose those two layers together, and then we apply the key cleaner effect, 
boom, you can see it finds the nearby edges to make your roto much more perfect. And if it's too strong, you can turn down the strength here to 75. We turn down the additional edge radius a little bit, so it's not too crazy. And also a link to you another tutorial I made where it goes over really ninja advanced refined edge techniques. Hope you enjoy the script. Hope it saves you some time. Make sure to visit me over at visionaryfire.com if you don't want to lose access to all my crazy tutorials, software, and VFX resources. I've had so much fun with you, my wizard, being creative. My name is Lyndon for visionaryfire.com. And until next time, I'll leave you to it. Visionary Fire.